Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode. Today we are going to be talking about marketing. This is a series to do with the business and also just some general things that I'll be doing with the business and taking it as an example for you guys if you are starting your own or just curious. Today we are talking about target market. And I'm obviously taking an example of the business that I'm building right now. Obviously, this episode is quite late. I haven't been recording. So you guys are a tiny bit behind. But you guys will be getting the episodes on what I have been done and what I am currently doing. And I will give you those all of those updates in the end of the episode. But let's get started of what was my thought process when I was building this audience targeting and identifying who is my target market like who am i targeting so obviously i have my copy of this paper that i just write in is my notes and let's get started with number one it is i am targeting locals so locals who are in this country specifically in this area I'm being quite specific on the location that I'm starting my business in. And obviously, that could be a disadvantage for me solely because of my location and the way I'm starting this. But obviously, we'll be going through the whole country I am in. But for now, we are targeting the locals. Obviously, the locals are diverse. And the way I just became and really wanted to target the locals was the locals are quite diverse. Obviously, so many of the locals wouldn't need our service. They wouldn't really want our service in some ways. But targeting those diverse locals who are in different nations in different countries but still in this country and citizens of this country they might use it and i think that is the big target there and anyways locals are always in majority of the time always here in this country in this area specifically and they usually wouldn't go outside of here they would in the holidays but obviously in the normal times, they would. And you will understand why I am choosing locals specifically as I go through this. And number two is university students. University students are quite important. They are the biggest thing here in this area. They are the hype of this city. And they are sort of the let's say the branch of the city obviously the locals are the roots they are the land but students are quite important as well obviously students are the second solely because they won't be here all season they won't be all here in like let's take as an example in a year they won't be all here they might be traveling or there are locals but they're also university students which also benefit us so the age between these two are for the locals is 18 to 60 obviously it's quite broad i can break this way more down and that takes lots of research lots of getting to know this market and the city but for the university students obviously if they're in university it is between 18 and i'll be like taking them until like 25 there are the golden golden egg let's say that and then we have tourist tourist is quite important since they are they're not the biggest but they are important since we are actually wanting them to also use the app and also use our service so they are quite important honestly there is no age limit for tourists obviously they gotta be 18 but they also perhaps with their parents or with their helpers or anything out like that but for now there is no age for tourists they're only the age target for the locals and university students obviously when you're targeting these kind of people there are many challenges comes with different age and different markets if you are targeting let's take an example if we're targeting students students are quite difficult obviously they have school breaks so like holidays that they'll be taking term breaks they could be here in this city 
but majority of the time they will be going back on where they were from or they will be going back to different cities in the country. So they are not the most important thing, but locals are staying here. So we can see majority of our revenue and we'll be talking about that later in the journey, but there will be the foundation of perhaps the revenue and the profits that we'll be getting in. So this is the target market and you guys have sort of missed a tiny bit, but not much to be worried about. I am just currently managing the app, managing the flow of employees and seeing how the future is. Obviously, big news, we have bought something for the company and it will be a great use and a great asset for the company as well, which is it, it is a really expensive thing for the company for as for the books for we are sort of in the red but we'll be going in a good and sort of out of the red in a couple days and this is episode 71 and I will be making sort of this as a series sort of if you are interested listening to this or anything Obviously, welcome to put your feedback or anything. If you see a market that I'm missing or people you think I should be putting for my company. And if you have a general idea of like it is a service, it is a an app is sort of limited to a location. What would you be thinking? Please be putting your your ideas or your suggestions in wherever you are listening this from. And thank you for listening. Obviously, I'll be uploading more consistently. That is my goal for this year as life gets busy. But thank you and I will see you in the next episode.